Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group in Oak Brook, Illinois. I feel really short right now, standing next to John. I just I can feel it. Um, but anyways, this is John. I just said that. So we we're talking about sciatica pain this week, low back pain, things like that. That's exactly what he, John had come in for, right? So he's at a job. He's on his feet all day long. Plus, he's got a newborn, essentially, yeah. we can say. A newborn, oh, yeah. two months? Three months. Three months now. You know, so that's still a newborn, right? So he's holding the baby, rocking the baby, doing all those things. Um, so low back pain was actually increasing on him. He had tried some other things, wasn't helping, came over here. We're starting to get a little bit of results for him. So I'm going to walk you guys through, actually, how we adjust him, what we've been doing to open up his low back, open up those disc spaces, take pressure off that sciatic nerve so that things can start to calm down and he can feel better so he can do more things with the kid as he gets older. That's right. There you go. All right. So face down, sir. So we're starting here with Mr. John. We always do this flexion distraction. So again, if you guys saw the uh, explanation of sciatica when I was talking about it, there's always two things we look at. You look at for sciatica type pain that starts right in that low back, or you can have what's called piriformis syndrome that actually comes from deep in the glutes and the piriformis muscle. Both of them are going to send pain down the leg. The difference is sciatica type pain starting from here is actually going to send pain all the way down to the toes. Piriformis syndrome. It actually starts in the glute, and the pain, tingling, numbness, things like that doesn't go past the knee. So easy way to kind of dictate which one we're dealing with here. So with sciatica, we want to take pressure off that low back, open up those disc spaces. So flexion distraction here. We're going to open up that table. We're blocking that vertebrae, dropping down this way, opening up those discs, just working our way up that low back. You getting any sleep right now? A little bit? Okay, that's good. That's good. Six hours. Look at you. That's actually pretty solid for a three-month-old. Wow. So, again, I'm just working up and down that lumbar spine here. We block the vertebrae, drop it into flexion, pumping that disc. It's the only way we can get more fluid and space into those discs is by movement. So we want to get that spine moving as much as we can. Excellent. All right. Take that off. Once or twice. Once or twice. You can stay right there. You know, so it's one of those things, obviously we're talking about the adjustment here, but John's been doing great coming in, getting his rehab in, working with his trigger point injections, things like that. So we got him stretched out. Now we just open up those disc bases. We're going to start adjusting, starting with that sacrum and that pelvis first. Table pops up, a little drop. Right at that L5. Beautiful. Lay on your side. Face me, sir. Good. So now we're going to do a little bit of side posture on him here. And scoot toward me just a little bit there. Perfect. Good. All right. So this hip's going to roll over. We're going to contact right here at that low back. Little drop. Other side. The more noises he makes, the better, too, just so you guys know. <laughs> John doesn't make any noise. I don't think it was a good adjustment. There it is. Face up for me, please. Now we do what's called the bear hug. Let's go even bigger. Yeah, there you go. So wrap around this way. Hands going right on that thoracic spine. Oh, nice. shit. <laughs> hey, that easy for me today. Stay right there. Pull on those hips. There you go. Come on up, sir. All right. So if you guys are dealing with low back pain, sciatica type pain like John was dealing with, give us a call at that number below. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that notification bell, like, follow the page. Always send us those comments underneath. Let us know your thoughts or if you have any questions. If you're watching on Facebook and Instagram, like and follow. We'll catch you guys in the next video.